Look at this level, what a fun level. That's just so great. These guys are so, such a love letter to everything we did. <laughs> I so love that. <laughs> this is all new. Yeah, this right? is all brand new. This is nothing like what Oh, it was and then before. the tentacle breaks all the things. Isn't that cool? Yeah. But that was a total accident because the reason we have Ishimura. Hi, I'm here once again with Chuck Beaver. You guys know this, we're eight episodes in. He was a writer and producer on the original Dead Space. We're playing chapter eight today of the remake. We have a lot of threads that were in the first Dead Space that we pull, obviously pulled into the second one when we refined it. Yeah. Uh, we found some things we had to clean up and stuff we had to make make sense. So when we did the first Dead Space, there was so much backstory that we had come up with. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. That uh, we had leftover backstory to help with the comic and the animated feature at the time. What is happening? I don't like this. Oh, you're in a, stuck in a tram. You're probably going to get attacked. Unauthorized use of air ducts. That's funny. I just hear screaming. I don't like that. Oh, that's great. They just had that moment. Ah, uh, so good. <laughs> it's such a good misdirect because whenever that normally happens, you normally get attacked. Yeah. It's good just to have it be a horror moment. Yeah, it's really, it's really great to just always have these moments where you don't know if you're going to get attacked or not. Yeah, yeah, the unpredictability there is really solid. The lighting in this tram is just dumb. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, she said Magpie. Magpie is a name of a ship. I think Anthony Johnston may have come up with that. I forget who wrote what. Um, it was in one of the, uh, God, one of the graphic novels. Um, what happens to the Ishimura afterwards, I think, and one of the things, you would think I would know this because I wrote the treatment for all these. <laughs> um, that's just so great. These guys are so, such a love letter to everything we did. It's so, that's so awesome. Yeah, it is nice that clearly they've done their research. Yeah, like they're like, happily pulling in all the transmedia whenever possible. It's so good. Ladies and germs. Now, I know I've been teasing that something big is going to be happening if you stick around for a couple episodes and if you subscribe and if you like the video and you know what, I'm going to stick to my word. Chuck and I are going to be finishing the last three chapters of Dead Space Remake live. That's right. We're going to be streaming it on Twitch Saturday, March 18th. Put it on your calendar. So if you want to join us, scroll down. Links are in the description. You can find links to my Twitch and also my Twitter where I'll be announcing what time on Saturday we're going to be streaming because I'm not entirely sure yet i'm gonna be honest so if you want to join us chat with me and chuck live again scroll down follow my twitch follow my twitter where i'll have all those updates for you very soon looking forward to finishing out this epic adventure with all of you i don't re i don't remember when this ship showed up so this will be a nice <clears throat> surprise yeah so the valor was called in i don't want to spoil it for you then if you don't remember um so it's a therefore but so you launch the sos beacon and sure enough a ship responds a little dodgy you're not sure why is there a military ship out here that's mostly a play to the backstory eventually when you learn out literally what is happening mm -hmm. and who you know who's in all the different sub factions in unitology and the earth gov who's you know who's trying to do water on the marker you know there's definitely um something fishy about oh gosh okay well here mm -hmm. it is the bridge that was a, that door closed right as you were heading towards it that was so good Uh, <laughs> the Exploders in the first game had some of the most fun, the uh, not VO, but uh, vocalizations. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was so good. I think even at one point it was even a little more silly than what we shipped with them. They, they were, someone was like, nah, it's too silly. We were like, no, it's so amazing. <laughs> you should be able to grab oh, the Exploder pod and use it. Oh, okay, ah! that's a little close, but there you go. Eh. <laughs> No, I don't ever want to come to the bridge again. Oh God. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no! Ah. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh, get off! Get off! This is why I use, I use the force gun in here. Remember a lot because I thought that was quite useful. I don't have any barely. Oh, any contact beam. Mm. <laughs> All right. Num num num. Flap. Oh, the energy gathers around and it fires it. That's really nice. Look at him, crawling at me on fire. That's really wow. nice. Sorry, bud. I'm gonna have to. You do like off. the pulse gun. That's interesting. Goodbye. I'm glad we included it. Like there was some debate. I know that um, 
we were gonna have there be all mining tools all the time, and then it was like it's okay to have a regular gun. Like, yeah, it'd be a nice break, right? Right. Because people, you know, people like it. Well, yeah, and especially right. the, and especially now, like when the when now that the Valor's shown up, it's like yeah, okay, there is this, there are guns in this world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm getting weird feedback spikes on local comms. You can head down to the comms control station. And Isaac, watch what you say. I think someone's listening in. Oh, this is interesting. So you know what they may have done is if the Unitologists are active and alive, mm -hmm. still doing stuff on the ship, like Kendra might be able to get have moved moved out of the role of <laughs> traditional woman who betrays you in these, you know, there was always this trope back then. We were like, oh God. Yeah. Right. She was, it was a little bit cliche at the time, um, but it still worked. And maybe they changed it. Yeah. I like her being your co-conspirator. It's quite fun. Yeah, she has a really good like personality for it. Where like there's times where she kind of freaks out. There's times where she, you know, she's remaining hopeful. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm really enjoying her um, her reimagined character. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know how much of that is because now Isaac can talk too. So their relationship really can get embellished, and they can be commiserating in this awful space in a really nice way. Right. No. Not no. No. Your no. buddy. I'm just gonna. Just hit him with this. I just want him to die. <laughs> That's so effective at it. Apparently not. I'm just gonna do this. This will get him. You can watch out for the little goobers he launches. Die. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Oh no! Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. I'm, that's my favorite. I don't know if, I know you hate those, but I love it because it's like I, I forgot their instant death if you get within the strike yeah. range. I could be wrong. Someone can tell me in is it Japanese? Ishimura happens to mean stone village. Oh, that's fun. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That was a total accident because the reason we have Ishimura is because the artist who made it was Doug Nishimura. And mm -hmm. he left the project before we um, before we shipped. And so we loved it so much, we're like, well, let's just make it Ishimura. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn just dropped the N. Yeah. It's weird that it then happens to also mean Stone Village at the same time. I thought, those are some interesting coincidences. Because oh, your buddy. I'm just going to hit him with one of those. Did that do it? I'm going to hit him with one of these. There you go. It's so good. He's just a giant vomiting booger monster. Yeah. <laughs> He's just making awful sounds and stuff it's coming out of him. <laughs> it's so good. Good job. Die. Die. Man, that flame jet looks amazing. Yeah. I like it's how hard. it like makes your vision almost blurry. From yeah, from and you see the 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 color of the flame, you know, from the muzzle and stuff is mm -hmm. different. It's hard to kind of do it from this cheated camera angle, but that looks really beautiful. So what are you running? You're running the flamethrower, the contact beam, the ripper, and the plasma uh, Yeah, cone. honestly, anything that has ammo at this point. Anything <laughs> <laughs> that has ammo. What's the name of your game? Anything that has ammo. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> That's a well-tuned game, my friend. There's nothing over here. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah. What's your favorite weapon? Whatever has ammo! Yeah. Well, this, that's like what we were talking about, the difference between this and uh, Dead Space 3, right? Because now it's like, oh, I have to use these specific weapons, which is, I think, good. It makes you feel more survivally. Like, you can't just have the pulse rifle the whole game. It's like, oh, I'm out of ammo. I have to swap to a weapon that I may not be proficient with. Mm -hmm. The Valor's in a holding position. How's the comms array? <laughs> Fry, someone hot-wired the dishes together and blew up the system. So we're screwed. No, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we can broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll uh, keep an eye on things here. <laughs> I'll... Uh... <laughs> well, that's an interesting line to write. What is she going to do? Uh... I kind of like that. One thing that I've noticed is there's not a whole lot of... Um... There, are, there is some, I think, with Isaac talking. There's a little bit more like comedic relief, almost. Like oh, a really? moment like that where she's just like, I'll sit here. Communications log, first comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack, but Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Aegis 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Ishimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. So we didn't establish that the Ishimura had basically 
mined a planet that was off limits. Mm. Like it was so rich in mining that they basically were illegally here, mining a planet that had been taken off because EarthGov and, and Dead Space Martyr had turned uh, the, the novel, had quarantined this, they put the marker here, and, or the marker had found its way here, and they had quarantined the planet to keep anybody from doing what's happening, releasing the marker, oh, right, and so releasing necromorphs. So it's kind of like, um, they basically, someone knew that the marker was here, and they were like, this is off limits, don't go here. But then, through some circumstance, the Ishimura has... Somehow, and it was originally the Ishimura got itself in trouble. I think, I have to go back and look at what the final lore was, but I think the Ishimura was illegally mining here because the planet was so rich, it was hard to keep it off the grid, but it was like, let's just mine it. So they came here illegally doing it, and then the reason it was off limits illegally is because a market was stashed here, yeah. and EarthGov was trying to keep it from being uncovered. And then once I think it got out that there was a marker... Ooh. Awesome. Oh, it's, is this Progress report, Captain Benjamin Mathias to Paragon Jordan, Una. You see this? It this will be my last transmission. Oh. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. We have successfully brought the Holy Marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but they are suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, Planet Crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. <laughs> so oh, love that. <laughs> Ah, it's so great. What these are these little embellishments are so awesome and tasty. It just takes the backstory, you know, that it was developed and fills it in. So yeah, they they weren't supposed to be here. So what what we wanted with that, with the Ishimura doing it, like every horror movie, there's like a member in um, the one that uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. There's a sin room where you commit some sin, right? And that's what big that's what obligates you into the horror circumstance. Yeah, you have sex and you're not supposed to, or it's a little bit of a monkey's paw. You did a thing. So for ours, it was the Ishimura being greedy uh, and going after a... You're gonna get killed. Stop. Hurting me. Yeah. They crossed over into illegality and then, for their troubles, unleashed, you know, the Necromorph scourge. Yeah, I see. So they weren't, they weren't innocent, so to speak, in, oh, the, God, in the agency I'm calculation. This room is difficult. There's lots of enemies doing lots yeah, of things all over the place. Oh, wow. That was like, who's that health pack? Nom, yes, nom, nom, nom. Yes. I like how the Ripper just basically auto targets. It just bounces off walls like Captain America's shield. And he's like, I'm going to go hit this guy now. <laughs> a lovely design. Oh, see, this is what you were talking about with the centrifuge room. Just put a giant thing that yep. shows what they're supposed Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. I mean, that was, <laughs> I think we ended up doing it for all of our big room puzzles because, you know, when you design a puzzle, you know what it is, you know, but. Popcorn is mysterious unless you know how it's made. <laughs> so yeah. it, just because you know everything about it doesn't mean that the uh, affordance of information is there for the players to get. And there's a real art to figuring out how much information to put in the frame versus the assumed state of what you can infer about what's supposed to happen with the puzzle. Like that's a really, you know, a really challenging craft that takes a lot of experience. And so we um, mostly got it right, but sometimes when you, when you, Sometimes when it doesn't work and the focus testers can't figure out what to do after two hours, <laughs> you got to put a piece of UI up to help them out. I see. So this is a line puzzle. So that's, these dishes make... This is so cool. There's a bunch of broken dishes, and then there's dishes that still work. Oh, I love this. And I have to, like, connect them. I know. This is, this is an upgrade from the original, for sure. Um, we had something else in this. This is quite nice. Oh, that's quite... I love that. It's the liney connector thing. Yeah. See how that's not a good amount of affordance you can see? what the piece does and what's open and what's active. And I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to put. I guess I'm supposed to put it You're trying to, I think, the center of that thing, you're yeah. trying to align power to the middle of it. So, what happens if I plug this one in? Plug. So then it sends it over here. And I need to take this one out. And I need to put this. This is cool. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This one in. Oh. Oh my God, you are so smart. <laughs> we should be friends. <laughs> this is the room we're going to be stuck on for four hours uh -huh. while I try to figure out this puzzle. This edit is like, okay, well, six hours later, <laughs> we, 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 we. One eternity later. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now it's sending it that way, and then I need to go up, which is this one. And then I think I did it. Yeah. Yay! Wow. You're really good. <laughs> so the, uh, oh, the Valor is waiting for our signal, so. I think you got it. Try opening the channel to the Valor. Oh, so now I get to talk to the Valor. Oh, that's great! It's so funny watching now with Isaac being able to talk, and I'm thinking back to the original, and how really dramatic it was to have to have him just talk at the whole time. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's really hard. Yeah. It's hard to write that. I'm sure everything's going to go fine when you call the Valor. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be no further complications. Mm, they're no, going to save the day with guns. They're going to come in and rescue you, and that'll be the end of Dead Space 1. Wow, that's great. Yeah. This is USM Valor, broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. Oh no. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. They shouldn't have picked that up. Exactly. The escape pod. Oh fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had chip. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. You want some Valor? Come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. What do you think is guarding the comms, the long-term comms array? Mm, I don't mm, know. I'm sure it's not a boss. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. It's going to be fine. You're just going to push a button and it's, everything's going to work out. Oh, that's a great twist. What's that? We picked up your escape pod, and you're like, oh, oh, Not no. Not the one that had the creature in it. <laughs> because it makes sense at the time to get rid of a creature off the Ishimura, just right. fire it away. And, you know, little do you know that you're... Died. Wow, he's got my hit points. Bam. You're basically setting yourself up for... This, this feels very The Thing. Whenever I use the flamethrower, I always think of The Thing, because uh -huh. they just scream like, ah! Another classic. Man, that, that thing is so good. Oh no! What's going on? Blech. Oh, oh! Oh, I love this guy. No. This is finally the divider. He's been being foreshadowed all this time. I think in terms of like silhouette, I think this guy is the creepiest. Yeah, he's got that real long, yeah. thin man it's thing like going on. Slender man thing. Yeah, his walk is really creepy with his long yeah. arms and stuff. Get away from me, please! Just die. No, just die. Go away. It's kind of a fun now that I realize what the design is. It's a nice extension because normally. The main creature, you cut its limbs off, and then the main creature continues to survive and crawl as long as it possibly can. This is like, you cut it off, and those limbs come for you. You're like, no, right. oh God. <laughs> They're not just like inert now. You're like, no, they have sentience. Like, yeah. nom, nom. Oh! <laughs> what was he? Loading in. He's been waiting for I, a while there for somebody to come let him out. I can't believe I upgraded my plasma cutter all the way immediately, and then it's just like, well, too bad you're never going to get ammunition for it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'll just use my ripper for days. I guess I'll just ripper my way through this. It's funny how Pavlovian this becomes. You're like, are those glowy blue yeah, cyan I'm lights? I'm going to go click on them. Spam the A button. <laughs> <laughs> I spam so hard I broke it. You did. You broke it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't think I need to it's also very game. gratifying to be this late in the game and your health bar has got lots of pips on it. Mm -hmm. Deploy the antenna. Oh. Oh. That's us. So can't reach the Valor. What's happening with the antenna? Oh. It's blocked by... It's the Leviathan. It must have snagged on the comms array after we spaced it. It's not coming off without a fight. Isaac, there's no time. There is if I use the ADS cannons. Manual targeting like before. I can shoot it right off the hull. I got this. You focus on the Valor. Oh, I can use the cannons. That's fun. Oh. Also, I think they changed this to where the Leviathan was the original Leviathan that just got, you know, you blew it like a snot booger out and it just caught on part of the ship. Yeah. I think we just had another big monster that was just there, the like, you know, monster part two. You really could sort of place it in the, now that you know what Convergence is, like the Ishimura crew, where did it get all that flesh from? Well, you want to populate the Ishimura with enough people that it's like trying to do Convergence and yeah. making these bigger and bigger forms on its way to a brother and moon, right? Wow, look at this area. This is fun. Target hotspots. Oh, Call yeah. Spot. Bam. Bam. That's awesome. Uh, wow, that's great. Watch out for the stabby arms. 
Pew, pew. Die. This is fun. Yeah. Uh oh, here it comes. Uh, is it tracking us? How close is it tracking us? Stop tracking us. How much do I have to shoot? There we go. That looks like I killed that goo bit. There's probably more. Yeah, there's more goo bits. Oh, it destroyed the cannon. Oh, no. Where's your oxygen? I don't know. I gotta find one. Oh, boy. That's great. So, this is a whole new. You may have to do it manually. You're gonna I wonder destroy if this. Will... Yep. Yeah, there it is. That's pretty it's solid. hidden behind the thing. <laughs> That's so good. This is a really fun new level design for them. Oh, oh it's throwing boogers at you. <laughs> throwing boogers, look out. Yeah, explodey boogers. I love this mechanic tied to your aiming is just really, really, mm -hmm. just great. Real sense of um, the ship and you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's this really extended systems that are happening. That's great. Oh, what in Okay. The Those look like problems. Look at this level. What a fun level. Wow. They really embellished. They've taken the really key beats of the chapters and picked and choosed where to really make some fun, excellent improvements, you know what I mean? It's this really is, this, great. This is all new. Yeah, right? this is all brand new. This is nothing like what Oh, it was and then before. the tentacle breaks all the things. And it kind of sweeps through, trying to kill you. Oh, there's one more cannon. You have to free it from boogerness. This is fun. Yeah. This is a really good, well-designed fight. Yeah, this is really exciting. Oh. And, you know, Brian, uh, magic of threes. So oh, no. Out. Oh, <laughs> oh. I hate it oh, so call long. strike? What's A? I'm just, that's me. Scaring. Oh, that's you. Got it. Oh, God. Got all the threats. Oh, I'm destroyed. Oh, no, oh, no I have you to gotta just shoot it. Shoot it. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, you could grab those balls, by the way, and shoot oh, back. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Eat it. Good job, Brian. Yeah. Oh, look at, look at it. Fleshy goo. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Oh, you have to get some. Yeah. Give me the thing. Ew, it's just like... That's so great. Ew. There it goes. Gross. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. That's just gonna that was expensive. Away. Look at that. Whole scene unfolding, Brian. Goodbye. Bye, Booger. Come back. <laughs> Chase it away. You know what's even nice is that they... Um, we'd figured out in Dead Space 3 and possibly Dead Space 2 when you're in open space, like what to do when Isaac, someone decides to fly all the way away. Yeah. Like that's, that's some of the limitations when you're first doing the mechanic that kept us from doing it in Dead Space 1. They just borrowed those answers, right? And yeah. Like, okay. Because I presume it's just like you can go as far as you want, but you won't have oxygen and you just die. Yeah. Or there's just this, like a limited, like the suit has an auto, like a, a, a virtual tether and it's like, it won't let you fly away. It'll just turn um. you around and keep you from going. As opposed to like some games have invisible walls in MMOs yeah. and you're like, that kind of breaks immersion a little bit. Yeah. So there's a way to immerse the limit in the mechanics of the world makes it nice. Yeah, I guess someone could buy like a million oxygen canisters and just see how far they could go. I'm sure yeah. someone's done that already. Yes! Finally! USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? I bet it's just screaming on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I think we opened it. I opened it. Chin. Uh, Chin, Chin doing his thing, man. Everywhere he goes. We're too late. The Valor! It's heading right for you! Brace yourself! It's so good. Oh, God. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. So now things are worse, so now your SOS didn't make Daniels, it Daniels, what happened? Something shook the whole crew deck. What hit us, an asteroid? Something got onto the Valor, a rescue ship. They found your escape pod, and the one that used to be Chen, it... God damn it! The Valor scrap. By the time another ship hears the SOS beacon, we'll all be dead. No, that's what I was telling you. I found an executive shuttle on the crew deck, intact. And the log says that shuttle's missing its singularity core. It can't get us home. Wait, if the Valor's got one. Can't. Yeah. If the Valor's singularity core is okay, <laughs> I could salvage it. Install it on that shuttle, we're fucking out of here. <laughs> Where's the Valor now? It's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. 
Let's see you see clean up their own mess. I'm saving what I can. Oh, so Hammond's gonna join me. Awesome. I'm sure it'll go great for him. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta fly to the Valor? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, this used to be a point to point. So you had to go to the wreck of the Valor. I did do love how this all unfolds. Like, you know what I mean? Like you tried to do an SOS, it went poorly. Yeah. Your escape pod blew the whole thing up. Now you had to go on to this ship that crashed into the Ishimura. So good. I like how the, val the vessel, the Valor is just mushed into the Ishimura now. Yeah. And that was a pretty easy scene for them to do when it comes crashing in. You just kind of play a ship going like yeah. this. Close the blast door, shake the camera, stuff goes up. <laughs>